it is Sasa right here. What's up? So, thing morning. This morning, I am up, out, and about. Supposed to be doing some other stuff, but I wanted to stop for a moment and talk to my ladies right quick about some experiences I may have had. A lot of women always ask me when they send me video topic suggestions. They send me video topic suggestions all of the time to sasare at gmail.com. And they always have a bunch of relationship questions. And the one question that I have been asked over and over and over and over again, over and over, okay, is why do men pull away? Why do men pull away from me? Why do men suddenly want to leave the relationship? Why do blah, 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 blah. Now, the reason why a lot of women have asked me this just recently is simply because you know, in my situation, my son's father just randomly decided he wanted a break from our relationship. Because I did say before he officially left and was gone for good, he had tried to leave. I want to say try, but I think that's too hefty of a word. He had actually tried to make it seem like him leaving was my idea maybe like three times before he actually hit me up and said he felt still had feelings for his ex. He wanted to be with her and blah, blah, blah. Number one, I want wanted women to understand something. Number one, absence always makes the heart grow fonder with a man, okay? I'm not saying always be away in your relationship. I'm saying don't lose yourself in the relationship to where you're spending every waking moment with this man to where you don't do anything else for yourself. And a lot of women, when they get inside of a relationship with someone, they get so involved with them, they start losing themselves because they think this is what men want. Uh, my man wants me to be around him all the time. He wants me to cater to him all of the time. You know, there's such thing as being too nice to certain men. Like Some men will not admit this, but a lot of men just don't like women who are too nice. And women are the same. We don't want men that are too nice to where we can walk over him. We want a, a woman, I mean, a man with a backbone. And so as a woman yourself, when you get inside of a relationship and, and you start to notice that your man is pulling away or whatever, it's simply because, number one, in the beginning of the relationship, you were a challenge. You were very different from all of the other women he had been attracting at that time. I don't know what it was you were doing that was very different. Only you would know that because only you know you. And usually when you start dating someone, if you are in fact being yourself, a lot of the times, whatever it was that you were doing in the beginning, you know, uh, maybe it was you was a little less, uh, you cared less, you know, you wasn't so pressed to answer his call, you wasn't always so available. This is, this is how you were when you guys were dating. And usually once you get inside of a relationship and your man starts pulling away from you, it's simply because number one, he's bored. He's bored. Okay, he's no longer feels a level of excitement anymore. Everything is starting to be mundane and normal. And I know for myself, I was in a situation where I was like, okay, I want my man to lead my relationship. So he was coming to me asking me to get rid of things for him, like get rid of jobs, get rid of people, get rid of situations, get rid of blah, 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 blah. And so I was like, okay, initially. Then he started wanting to argue with me over YouTube, okay? And I was like, okay, <laughs> I got to draw the line somewhere, dude. <laughs> like, you wanted me to get rid of a friend of mine who I was working with, so now I no longer do that job, you know what I mean? Um, and I got rid of so many other things, you know, for this guy. So, oh, no, I'm not sad to the person that just put that in my chat. I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all. I'm having a wonderful day. Actually, I feel great. I just woke up. I got in the shower and I'm on my way somewhere. So I feel I'm great. I don't, I don't know. But um, I'm just answering some emails because I got, I got some emails this morning from people who ask me for some relationship advice. And people ask me for relationship advice all of the time. And I've been seeing this damn question inside of my email. Why do men pull away? And so I'm like, let me explain why and this is why men get bored they feel like you're no longer the challenge anymore that you was that got them inside of the relationship to begin with men to me men have the brain capacity and the attention span of a toddler women we're a lot more complex you know it, it, we think a lot more and we do you know 
a lot of the things that men use to entertain themselves, women are just too mature for it. So men just think differently, you know? Men get bored inside of a situation easy. And so if you're dating a man and you start to notice he's pulling away and your first initial reaction is let me come closer, that's not what you should do. Let him let him like go. It's like a um let me see, an elastic thing. You know how if you pull a rubber band and the tension comes if you're pulling the rubber band this way, that's what men are in regards to a relationship. They need that pull that that tension pull, that retraction. Men need that. I don't know why. They just do. You know, when a man starts pulling away, you start pulling away too. It doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't want to be with you anymore. It, it doesn't even necessarily mean that he doesn't love you anymore. It doesn't always mean that he found another woman that's quote unquote better than you. It could just mean he is bored. You understand? And the reason why I use my relationship as an example, because I remember when Pre started pulling away, I got pregnant. Okay, and he started saying he needed space. Now we were living together, so we was always around each other. He got off work, I was sitting there. He left for work, I was sitting there. You know, it was just like I was picking him up, I was taking him everywhere. We were hanging out all the time together. And I remember saying to him, Bae, you need to go do some stuff outside of go to work and be with me. Like, you really need to go hang out with your friends. You need to go work out. You haven't done that in a long time. I mean, we used to like hike and stuff and do like physical activities together. We would go have picnics together. And of course, we enjoyed each other's time. But the one thing that you don't want to lose inside of a relationship is you being independent. You still have to be an individual. You know what I'm saying? You have to be yourself. Now, again, this goes back to don't lose your friends. You know, don't lose your your hobbies and this is what what I was saying when I said to him he was asking me to get rid of stuff and then he asked me to stop doing YouTube and I looked at him like you want me to what like I was like you want me to stop doing YouTube because what and it wasn't like an alternatum like Santere if you don't stop doing YouTube I'm going to stop being with you it was more of Stop doing YouTube because I don't like that you have trolls type of thing. And anyone who's done YouTube, you know, we all have trolls. Anyone who's been on the internet, you know, we're going to have trolls anyway. And so I was like, dude, I will not be getting rid of YouTube. That is where I draw the line. I'm sorry. I can't lose everything about myself in you. I can't. And that tension right there, that that friction of us going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth is just something that I got tired of. Like, I get bored with that shit. Men want that. Men want that in in a relationship. And a lot of times, women, we get tired of that rubber band traction tension thing to where he pulls away, you pull away, and then like a rubber band, it pulls y'all back together. Me and him were going through that limbo while I was pregnant. And I was like, I literally do not have the energy to play this game, this this rubber rubber band retraction game with him. Because number one, I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm pregnant. I literally need some stability at the moment. So when he was sitting here talking about he needed time, and then I would give him time. Like one time he left, he didn't call me for a week. He literally packed the bag and said, I'm going to stay at a friend's house for a week, right? I did not call him that whole week. He was at his friend's house. I didn't say, hey, I didn't text him. I did nothing. He didn't do that to me either. And I let him go and do whatever it is that he wanted to do because I felt like we were always around each other all the time. Every day. We lived together. So I was just like, okay, if that's what you feel like you need, you feel like you need a break from the relationship, go out there and do what you need to do. I gave him his space. I didn't call him. I didn't, nothing. And when he came back, he seemed like he missed me. He was like refreshed. He was like different. He he really like missed being around me. And then he did this again, right? It seemed like once a month, maybe, or maybe twice a month, he needed to say to me, I need to go do something on my own. You know, I need to go off here and I need to get a break. But like I said, I was pregnant. So I was like, listen, (laughs) I'm losing my patience with this shit because we're in a relationship and you, you, you're you kind of playing this game with me as if we're in the beginning of dating. And I don't think I have patience for this right now. This is what I was thinking in my mind. I was like, I, I can't be in this junk, this, this 
limbo about where I stand in a relationship with a man that I'm pregnant by. You understand? So I was just like, okay, go take your space. All right. I need you to come back though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to go do what you got to do as a man and come back. Now, I always was the woman, like, don't don't lose yourself in this relationship. Don't lose yourself. Like, that's the one thing that people do inside of their relationship. They forget to be an individual. And they wonder why the person pulls away. It's okay to spend a lot of time with each other. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But as far as losing yourself completely, that's a negative. Now, another reason why I do want to say that another reason why I didn't get rid of YouTube is because, number one, it was an additional source of income. And I felt like as a man, if you're going to ask a woman to get rid of a hobby or get rid of something that's providing her a source of income, you have to be in a position to be able to replace that hobby or replace that source of income with something else. If you are, in fact, a leader, you know, you have to be able to supplement whatever it is that this woman is getting rid of. So if, so if you're asking her to get rid of something that she needs, please be in the position to, to replace it with something else. Don't just ask a woman to get rid of some shit. So when he was saying get rid of YouTube, you know, I was looking at him like, I'm not, that's a source of income. Number one, it's, it's a release. It's a hobby that actually pays me. I could see if it was just a hobby and I was just doing it because, you know, I just felt like doing some shit, you know? Like some people get on YouTube and they just do videos just off GP. I, my YouTube channel is my business. So I'm not going to sit up here and get rid of YouTube because you want me to, you know? So that, that going back and forth about him needing space and him, you know, losing himself because I genuinely think that he lost himself in our relationship, you know, but. He was the one that was pulling away because, number one, he needed space. He needed his time to be individual. And I was saying to him, like, you might want to take some time to, to do some stuff for you. Like, you don't have to always be around me all of the time. And I think this is what scares a lot of women, too. When you do give men space to play inside of their own devices, you know, to, to, to do little <laughs> whatever it is that they want to do, sometimes these men go and cheat. Sometimes they leave you for other women. Sometimes they go and start talking to other women. You know, and a lot of that scares a lot of women. So a lot of women don't want their man to have any freedom. But I'm here to tell you as a woman, you know, if you're with the right man and you let him go off to go do whatever he wants to do, nine times out of ten, wanting to talk to other women won't be something that he wants to do. You know, if you are with the right person and he genuinely cares for you and you genuinely care for him and you two have a healthy situation where he decides to go out there and do whatever it is that makes him happy, it won't be fraternizing with other women because he will genuinely love you. So he won't even be, you know, spending his time doing that. He'll be out with his homies. He'll be working out. He'll be washing clothes. He'll be doing whatever it is he want to do. Wash his car, a jog. I don't know. Shit men do, you know, so... <laughs> Don't be afraid to say to your man, you know, go out there and have a boys night, you know, because if he's a good dude, he's going to go out with his homies, have a drink, dance, come back home. It ain't going to be, oh, I'm going to go out there and get some pussy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be nothing like that. So don't be afraid of that. Now, again, back to this whole when men pull away from you thing, the first instinct women do is come towards them, come, come towards them, like, you know, like, because they're so afraid to lose them. But the good part about letting go of someone is that you realize that if it's meant for you, when you let it go, it come back. It's, it's not. It's like you know how you have a, a pet. If any of you have had a dog, right? Any of you had a dog, any type of dog. If you let your dog out the fence, right? You let your dog out, and he's roaming free in the neighborhood. A lot of people don't panic. Like I don't panic when my Yorkie runs away or my my cocker spaniel runs out the yard. I don't panic because I know. They ain't going far, number one. And number two, there's going to be a time where they're going to get hungry or thirsty and they're going to realize it's going to be very difficult to find food <laughs> without their master, <laughs> okay? So usually when my dogs have ran out the fence, they turn around and they come back on their own without me having to look for them. You understand? Now, there's been times where my dog's been out longer than suspected, and I've been like, are you okay? And I go look for them, and I found out they've been lost in a trap or something like that. Like, one time my dog got caught in, like, this bob wire behind my house. His, like, hair got caught in the bob wire, so I had to find him. Because I heard him barking in a distance, but I didn't know where he was. So I went behind the house, behind the yard, and his ass was <laughs> in some bob wire 
stuck and I had to get some scissors to cut his hair because he was a cocker spaniel cut his hair off the barbed wire cut him off the barbed wire because the, the hair was tangled so your man might get caught up in some shit <laughs> he might get caught up in some shit that may have been a mistake because you know curiosity might get him out there and he might be out there trying to do some shit he shouldn't be and that's up to, that's on him you know consequences are to everything uh, consequences you know is something that we all got to experience everything is cause and effect so if you don't want your man to be an individual inside of your relationship you're really your relationship is going to be over really really quickly now my relationship ended up being over once i got pregnant because i no longer wanted to do the push and pull game because he wanted to play like these games and as much as men try to make it seem like they don't play games that women play men play games they play the rubber band retraction game. So as we're in the middle of the rubber band retraction game, you know, he's pulling away because he wants space. He's getting bored. So he wants to play games to where we're sitting here. We're arguing, making up, arguing, making up, arguing, making up, back and forth because that's his form of entertainment and what he's been used to in other relationships. Me, I like more stable situations. Like we can find another way to have fun. We don't have to argue. We don't have to do the rubber band retract thing in order to have some type of excitement. So here he is with his rubber band and retract game to where every week is something else with dude. And so I got tired of this. This is how our relationship broke up, ultimately, really, because I got tired of playing the, the Sansa Rae as a challenge game because other women don't challenge him, and it's only me doing it. So I'm sitting here looking at him like, you know what I'm saying, like bored as fuck, and once we were on my turn to respond to his bullshit, um, we had just had a really, really good weekend. Like, we had a good weekend. We had just went out to see Thor. Uh, we had dinner. We had an awesome weekend. This was like a Saturday and a, and a Sunday where the, the relationship seemed to be going smooth. But just that Friday before, I was sitting in the house waiting for him to come home. And I didn't know where he was. And so I was calling him because he usually comes home at a certain time after dinner i mean after work and he was not home to have dinner and so i'm contacting him trying to figure out where he is and he wasn't answering the phone so i text message him and said you better answer this goddamn phone right so then i guess he decides he goes in the bathroom and he calls me comes to find out he's out on a date with another woman okay him and his homeboys went on like a date with some other women like a group thing right and I'm like, nigga, could, you could have told me this because I could have went and found me something to do. Go, you know, give me something to eat while your ass out here <laughs> playing games with other women and shit. Like, nigga, you could have told me this. I'm sitting in the house pregnant trying to figure out what's going on, starving, waiting to eat with you, dressed up and everything, thinking we about to go out and your ass done went out with another woman. You could have said this to me. So this is part of the retraction bullshit that he's doing just to spark up some type of thing in our relationship because i swear to you every time shit was going smooth and and we're both having a good time and we're laughing and everything's fine in our relationship no arguing suddenly he would do something in order to create some type of friction so when men start pulling away or that that is just an indication that he's number one bored as hell because a lot of men and women are like this too stability is boring to some people St stability and normalcy is fucking boring you have to have a level of dysfunction for some people to be comfortable with being in a relationship with you because some people love drama they just love being in a relationship to where everything is chill and something dramatic gotta happen so it could be some entertainment inside of this relationship that's why some men pull away from the situation just to see how you are going to respond to it. And if you panic, sometimes that cuts them, that, that throws them off. That makes them no longer want to be in a relationship. And then sometimes when you have a bitch fit and you're like, nigga, if you don't bring your ass home because you over here pulling away and you ain't even answering my phone calls, blah, 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 blah. Some men like that. You got to know what your man is like. Then there's other men out there who pull away simply because they're stressed in other areas. Now let's get back into my situation okay when i said my man was doing the retraction rubber band thing okay the additional reason why he was also doing this is because he was having a stressful period in regards to his job he didn't know whether he was going to keep his job remember i told everybody he didn't have a high school diploma he didn't have a ged 
So his job was getting to a point where they were like, okay, we want to put you on permanently because it was a like a like a, a contract to hire position. They were like, we want to put you on permanently. In order for us to do that, you have to have a high school diploma or GED. Now, why they put him in a contract to hire position anyway to begin with, with him not having a high school diploma or GED is beyond me but <laughs> this is what they require in order to put him on permanently so when i got pregnant he was under the stress of i have to get my high school diploma in ged by a certain time in order for my job to hire me okay as a permanent employee and so the stress of that was was also bothering him men pull away for shit like that too we were sitting down trying to study so he could take his exam so he could get his ged and that was stressful because we would have to find time to do that. Like it's like getting your GED is hard when you are over 30. Number one, you got so many other things going on in your life that it's, it's hard to even find time to study. Number one. Number two, you're so old by now. It's like basic math and shit, basic algebra and all types of reading comprehension shit, language. You remember the, the stuff that we learned like in high school and middle school? Trying to learn all this shit all over again when we've forgotten most of it is very difficult. So I'm sitting here trying to study with him and teach him at the same time. But at the same time, I'm also trying to work. He's trying to work. So there was a lot of stress in, inside of the situation that really had nothing to do with our relationship because our relationship was smooth. It was like all of these other things orbiting around our situation that was making it like this stressful situation that had nothing to do with our relationship. So being the man in the situation, men handle things very differently from women. Women will see some shit, tackle it. Women, we're the type, we juggle shit. Like if we see a situation or if we see our, our man needing something and our children needing something and our parents needing something and our job needing something, and blah, blah, we will juggle that shit like a champion, all right? Because that's how women's minds are are built we know how to connect shit and get shit popping we multitask that's what we do men on the other hand they like to departmentalize shit they can only handle one thing at a time okay they can't they don't know how to multitask a lot of stressful things they don't know how to take care of so many things at one time a, a, a lot of men don't know how to to wear as many hats as a woman can because a woman could be in the PTA, a, a woman could be taking a kickboxing class, a, a parenting class, damn, <laughs> making cupcakes and brownies and stuff for her kids. She can go out here and play with her kids, damn, go to work every day and juggle all of this stuff, still be stressed and turn around and still be beautiful at the same time for her man. And as hard as that is, as hard as that is, that's what the world requires of women. We work tremendously harder than men do. And men are babies. Like men, oh God, when men think that they got it bad, you would have it bad if you were a woman. I'm sorry to tell you, especially if you're a black woman because you're double minority. So as a woman, we got a lot of things we got to deal with to begin with. So it would be nice if men would just stop pulling away with this rubber band retraction bullshit that they're doing, this game that they're playing. But this is what men need. This is what they need in order to be inside of a relationship. And, and I, I used to be the type of woman like, listen, I'm not about to be playing no games with no man. Like, I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I really just don't. But then that would be me as a woman expecting a man to have the brain capacity of a woman. Men do things very different. And as I'm looking at my son, oh my God, and I just made a video about this yesterday that I haven't posted yet. I was talking about how raising my son has been very different from how I raised my daughter the first three months of her life. My son is way more dependent on me than my daughter was. At three months, I can already see the difference in the two of them. It doesn't mean that my son is less of a human being than my daughter was, but it means that my son is built completely different than my daughter. So it's like women, women just have a different way we handle stuff. We have strength mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Men have strength physically. Sometimes they have it mentally, but even when they do have it mentally, they have a, still have a different type of mental state to where common sense becomes something that they know nothing about. Like if a man is mentally strong, 
usually his common sense is out the door. You know, so when you're dealing with men, ladies, and and they start pulling away, it's a couple of things. The things I just listed. Number one is he's probably bored. He's pulling away because the relationship no longer provides the entertainment or the challenge that he needs. Okay, that's number one. Number two, he could be stressing over job, work, you know, family, something that may not even have nothing to do with your relationship. All right. And when that happens, sometimes when when they ask to pull away or you see them pulling away and you let them go. If he's not meant for you, he ain't going to come back. It ain't going to be no friction. In my situation, I let the rubber band go. I broke the rubber band because I got tired of the friction back and forth. Because I knew, I knew what Priest was doing. I knew. I was like, he playing this fucking game with me. And he trying to put me in a position to where he can juggle me and Sonya. Me and, and his wife. Me and, you know. And I want people to understand that me and Sonya are on the same level. Okay? I'm sitting here with the baby. She's sitting here married to him for 14 years. But at the end of the day, he was sitting there trying to play both of us. So it made us be on the same level. And so I'm not, was not about to sit here and entertain being put on the same level with a woman that's also being hurt the same way I am. So I had to put, I had to break the rubber band. I had to literally be like, you know what? This, this friction game that you playing with me, you play that shit with another woman. You don't want to be in a relationship, fine. We done too much pulling and retracting. Now, pulling and retracting the little rubber band game is something that you can play if you're not in a serious situation. Like I said, I was pregnant, so I really didn't have the luxury to be sitting there playing some little pull and retract game at that time. Had my baby been born and we were stable and, you know, the bills was paid and everything was cool and then we turned around and played the pull and retract game then i've been like okay we can play the game let's play the game that makes the relationship a little fun right everybody wants to have a fun in their relationship like i said a lot of people just like drama and they shit you know what i'm saying i would have done that you understand i would have definitely participated but it just seems like Um, the responsibility of getting us out of the extended stay hotel that we were in, number one, was way more important than me sitting here playing this rubber band retraction game with a nigga. Like, I just really didn't have time for that shit. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm trying to work. I'm pregnant. I got to get us out of this hotel. I'm not thinking about exes, fucking other people, nothing. So when he would come to me and be talking to me about these women that, that was beautiful at work, I knew it was part of the rubber band retraction game. Talking about how she is star and how she looks beautiful and blah, blah, blah. These, these are the things that he would come home from work and say. And I'd be looking at him like, why is he coming home every day talking to me about bitches? But I knew, I knew it was, here we go with the rubber band retraction game. <laughs> I really just don't have time for this shit. And then he started talking to me about, you know, getting back with, with his ex. Because he missed, he missed seeing her. Like I said at the beginning of the uh, video. Absence makes the heart grow fonder with me. They, they got to miss you. And I, I think women are like that too. They got to miss you in order to value the relationship. So here he was, you know, missing being around his ex, you know, missing the things that she's done. You know, like I said, you, you give a man time to, you know, fool with his own devices. His mind starts going all over the place. And if he's the right man for you, when he goes off, he, he'll come back. If he's not, his mind starts going off in other shit that, You know, his priorities are all wrong. He turns into the confused man. The confused man. You know, and and there's different types of men. And not all men are the same. Let me just say that as my disclaimer. Because I don't want no men whining. Okay? There, There are different types of men. You understand? And not all men will do this. But I can tell you. Most of the time when men want to pull away in a relationship is because you're no longer the challenge, you're boring, you know, like I said, a lot of people just don't like the nice person, you know, like they don't like to be, they need some drama, you know, and for me, I just got tired of the retraction rubber, rubber band game, so that's how that relationship broke up, like, because cause I could still be in Atlanta playing this stupid rubber band retraction game with him, but I was pregnant, <laughs> like, I was lying, nigga, it's time to put that game at the bottom of our list of shit to do. And if you can't keep up with that, then now I got to move on without you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not telling ladies you have to play the rubber brand fucking retraction game. You don't have to do that shit. You can tell them to go fuck themselves. You know what I'm saying? You can be like, I don't, I don't have time for this. 
You know, I, I really don't. I got too much, you know, shit. But men, that's how men end up interested in a woman and getting in a relationship with her to begin with. Because they like the fact that she's a challenge and she's very different from the other women that they're, they're used to. Now, I wouldn't suggest that you uh, try to become um, the type of woman you think he wants. I, I would not suggest that. I think you should be the type of woman you are. You know what I mean? And, and you'll fit with the right guy. But a lot of guys like to play games. I mean, why you think they like football and basketball? And you, we're talking about alpha males here. You know, they like shit like that. So instead of trying to change a man into the type of man that doesn't play games, you can always play like little games with him, not necessarily relationship games, but little little fun stuff to keep the relationship going so that the, the rubber band retraction game can still be something, you know, that you're doing in a relationship. But you don't want to hurt anyone and you don't want to be playing a rubber band retraction game when y'all living in a motherfucking extended state hotel that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any that doesn't make any fucking sense you know i i really i i just felt like i just really don't have time to play this game with you right now i'm sorry but i just really really don't like i got bills i gotta work i gotta get us out of the hotel i'm pregnant you know some men don't have their priorities in order so that's what happened with my situation. So to the women who are sending me questions about this, that's my answer to that. I get a lot of questions every day. I wish I could make a live stream about every single one of these videos that I'm getting um, about relationships. But for the most part, um, I answer them. Like one girl, she said she was in college and this guy that she has known for many, many years always played women. And there has always been some type of banter between the two of them to where they've always you know, wanted to be with each other, just never been with each other. And she said that he has always been with like a whole bunch of women. He's always played girls all the time. And now he wants to be with her and they think they about to be in a relationship. She said, what do I do? I think he wants to have sex. I think he blah, blah, blah. You know what I told her? I said, girl, don't have sex with him until you get married. Yes. I put her on that. I put her on that. Cause see, he a player. He could be doing what everything humanly possible to get this woman. Okay, because he a player. He likes he likes to have sex. He juggles women. And this, she's the one woman he hasn't had in all these years. Okay? All these years they've been friends and he's been wanting to be with her and such a I said, don't have sex with him until you get married. Date him. Because they cause they're just now starting their date, right? I said, okay, date him. Date him. Do your thing. You know, date him. Do not have sex with him until you get married. Change the game for her. That's the best she can do. That's the best the best she can do. Because if she tries to have sex with him now, or or even if she gets in a relationship with him, after she has sex with him, men always do this. After she has sex with him, and she could be having sex with him maybe, I don't know, six months into the relationship. Suddenly he started to get bored inside the situation. He would start juggling bitches again, playing games. Now, here's my thing. They young. They still in college. So when I said to her, oh, that's easy. Don't have sex with him until you get married. They're probably not going to get married anytime fucking soon. So that means they're going to be dating for years and years and years before they even have sex. That's what I want her to do. I want her to date him for a few more years first before she has sex with him because he a player. Now, players can reform when they get older. Playing is something that young-minded men do. Older men don't do this because usually older men got bills and shit. They got kids. They got wives. They got they got shit to do. So they ain't got time to be playing. Like I said before in a couple of videos back, real men just don't have time to juggle women. Like my daughter's father, let me tell you something about amazing about this man. And I always talk about my daughter's father being awesome. Okay. Cause he's just amazing. Like I'm surprised he doesn't have a wife. You know what I'm saying? Like it shocks me every time. I'll be like, where's your girlfriend? Like I need you to get married like ASAP. So anyway, my daughter's father has never, in the history of me knowing this man, been the type of man to juggle women. Like, he just never been that tight because he's always been working on himself financially, his career, everything, everything. Like, he's, he's always been focused on that. So when I say real men just literally don't have time to juggle women, it's because they realize the concept of having whatever it is that they need to have and they will get whatever woman they want. Because if you got if you got your own car, your own house, your own job, you mentally in a good place, you spiritually in a good place, usually you can get whatever type of woman it is you want. But if you job struggling, you struggling, you ain't got your own home, you ain't got blah, 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 blah. It's going to be difficult for you to find a good woman who will put up with your shit. You know, and, and that's another thing I feel like inside of the last relationship I was in. 
you get taken for granted. Like men pull away from relationships because they're taking their relationship for granted. Because I because I, I am saying that they're bored. They're 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 sick of the challenge. I mean, they don't have a challenge. They're tired of that. But the bottom line is, yo, <laughs> they're taking their relationship for granted. You know. Uh, Jennifer, I told her to find a good man, but she loves him. So what can I do? You know what I mean? <laughs> like you could tell, you could tell a woman all damn day, go find a good man. But if she loves the man that she's looking at, regardless to who he is, she's going to be with him. There's <laughs> nothing, nothing I can say. Go find a good man. Just because he's playing games right now. Come on, stop it. He in college. He's like 22. Niggas is a lot of niggas is playing game. White men playing game. Black men playing game. He young, so them two getting married will be long, long from now. All right. So that's what I'm telling her to date him. I'm not telling her to get rid of him. I'm just saying men grow out of that. Like boys play games, but they eventually grow up one day. So I'm telling her date him, just date him. Don't have sex with him. Don't nothing him until he grows up. Then when he grow up, he a different type of man. You know what I mean? Possibly. He could be a different type of man. That's why I'm telling her not to take him serious. Because if you take him serious right now, as much as you love and care for him, you are going to be hurt in the process. You know what I mean? So that's why I told her, oh, don't have sex with him until you're married. Because if, you, if she give him the goodies, you know what I'm saying? If she, if she give him the goodies, she's going to fall deeper because you know women we usually have our hearts attached to our vaginas at least i know my vagina is attached to my heart it, it's going to take me i don't know it take me about what five bottles of hennessy to get me to detach my heart from my vagina <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm just speaking from a woman's perspective i need some type of drug or some shit to get my vagina to disconnect from my heart you understand what i'm saying so and that's why i'm telling her not to have sex with him because she's telling me we're in college He's a player. He's always played girls. I've known him for years. He's played girls since we were in high school. I know him. Now he wants to be in a relationship with me. And he wants to have sex and take things serious. And I said to her, do not have sex with him until you are married. And, and, and you guys are saying, well, tell her to go find a better man. I could tell her that till I'm blue in the face. But you love who you love. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just telling her, not yet. You know, and, and I say this, I, I kind of act like the universe with people. Like, I feel like as a human being, right? When you ask the universe or God for something, you never get no. If you notice, you never get no. The universe will give you three answers. Your three answers will be yes, not yet, or I have something better, right? Those are the three answers the universe gives. So when people ask me questions about their relationship, I answer how the universe will answer. I never say no. I never say, because see, I don't know the situation. I don't know it deep enough to know. So I try to do what God would do or the universe would do to give somebody the best advice I can. So I'm just like, okay, maybe just not right now, you know? Or if you wait and he starts to pull away naturally and starts dating another woman or takes another woman serious, there's something better out there for you. That's all I do. That's all I do. I can't tell a woman how, who, who to love and who not to love. Because I don't know the dude personally. I just know that he's a player from what she said. You know, I don't, mean, I don't mean I know him personally. I don't know the specific details. I just know that the general thing about him. So when I give people advice, I give them general advice. Now, if I sat down and did a one-on-one -on -one with the person to where I could sit down and ask them like a thousand questions to, to completely try to understand the person that they're with, I probably could give them a little bit more detailed advice. But I like to speak generally when I'm talking to people. I don't like to get like too in detail. I don't want them to get in too detail with me because still at the end of the day, they're going to do whatever it is that they want to do, regardless to the advice that I get. You know? But I just wanted to give my advice about why men pull away. And they pull away for the very reason, you know, I just said. Like, the very reasons I've given. And any man who is watching can say, yeah, those are pretty much the reasons why, you know, men do that. You understand? So, I... <laughs> if you have any video topic suggestions or any relationship questions, you can always email me at gmail.com. As far as my relationship goes with my ex... I learned a lot inside of that situation to basically to where I can use that relationship as like a reference 
hearts for a lot of the questions like people ask me because a lot of the stuff that happened inside of my relationship happens in a lot of relationships and it's interesting because a lot of the stuff that I experienced in my relationship with him I had never experienced before so it's easy for me to go back to that relationship and be like you know what that happened in my last relationship you know what that happened in my last relationship like I went through a lot in my last relationship in that little bit of time so you know if you have any relationship questions I was a relationship person before I got in a relationship. People were asking me for relationship advice for many, many years. And even though my relationship failed with priests, it, it, it doesn't mean that I still can't give you advice. And I always tell people, I see other people's relationships a lot clearer than I see my own. I think it's because I can step back and see the big picture inside of somebody else's situation. But my situation is harder to look at. And I think the reason why is because my emotions are involved. There's certain things that, that's happening that's blocking my judgment. So when I see somebody else, you know, in their situation, it's easy for me to look at it clearer than I would my own. So don't think simply because I had a failed relationship or I'm not married or I'm single because whatever reason that that means I can't give you good relationship advice. I can give you great relationship advice because I'm looking directly at your shit. I don't have any feelings about it. I don't have any. I'm not going to project my own negative shit. It's going to be unbiased what I'm telling you because I'm going to see the situation in both from both perspectives. So it's just clearer when I see your shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's always been like that for me. And I've helped so many couples. I have got couples together. I have people in my life who they were, I introduced them and now they're married. You know, I just know how to match people. I've just always been good at, okay, I know this person's specific personality characteristics, and I know this person's specific personality characteristics, and I know they would men, they would bl blend well together. So, you know, that, that's mainly why it's so easy for me to give relationship advice. So don't think because I had a bad relationship and things didn't go the way that I wanted them to or that he wanted them to that I can't give you... Um, relationship advice so email me at soundsray.com okay make sure y'all have a wonderful day all right and donate please super chat donate don't be afraid to donate with your stingy ass please feel free <laughs> you know if you need any graphic design go into my community tab i usually post examples of my graphic design there so if you need any like logos or anything edited for your youtube channel let me know okay it's revenuedigital at gmail.com. Don't email me with no bullshit, okay? This is serious inquiries only. I'm a businesswoman. If you need some graphics, some logos, some stuff like that, that's some serious shit, okay? Don't be hitting me up talking about some girl. I heard such and such and such. Did you just email me on my damn business email talking this? Anyway, so please feel free to donate. You can donate via PayPal. Uh, to we love sauce at gmail.com or I have links in my description box below or you can cash at me it's uh, dollar sign revenue digital that's r-e-v-e-n-e-w-d-m okay again I appreciate you spending your time with me time is very 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 valuable and I appreciate you being here for the 45 minutes I have been on this live chat okay thank you so much have a good day okay have vision and stay focused namaste